Hey guys, it's Linda Streams on YouTube with another exclusive for my YouTube family. In Cozy Grove, I do have sort of a routine down now where I go to the store first thing as soon as I log in to grab that spirit log. Uh, we'll take a look at that as well as there is a big spoiler in this video. There's a new ghost on my island and I'll show you the story as well as the quest that I had to do for them. And just like in my previous videos, I'll be skipping a lot of uh, grind work for you guys just to see the progression. But all of the purchases that I made and the upgrading that I did, it was made possible by uh, the seagull bear, of course, trading in some of those new items. And among the new items, there's also the old items, of course, that everlasting grind that I'm on, um, because I do play it so casually, I, I am still looking for those hundred um, uh, branches. I'm still looking for the hardwood and the softwood, so I'll show you a little bit of that. So let's get started here, guys. We are on day 22, the start of week four in Cozy Grove. So my daily routine, I turn the game on, I will go straight to the store. I usually grab that log right away. Try not to forget that. If I see that there's something else in the store that maybe has that exclamation point or quest, I might grab that as well. Um, I see there's a log there that has an exclamation point. I don't know it's by the logs. Um, you'll see a little later in the video too, I made kind of a terrible mistake, but um, yeah, you'll see later. Um, so yeah, day, a daily grind, very minimal. If there's some quests, some new quests that I've opened up through progression, then my, my, the amount of time that I'm logged in for the game might be quite a bit longer. Uh, but that first day there was very short. Minimal, minimal work was done on day 22. <laughs> So the, yeah, rinse and, rinse and repeat. I mean, there's nothing terrible with that. I do play so casually, I enjoy that. I don't stress out about this game and it's so, it's so relaxing. The music is so relaxing. The um, colors that they use are very calming. Hopefully he's very hungry. He's very happy to get his logs. Uh, part of my dailies too is like just to grab quests like because not all of the quests if you notice they will give you a spirit log They might give you coins and they may give you some items instead um, I try and just grab them collect them. I might even skip some of the dialogue. I'm sorry. I am still guilty for that But I'll pick up some quests here and there you see me. like I'll grab the quest and I realize like I'm done it I'm done the quest already so I can just redeem that right away <laughs> And grab those things so it's not a spare log we still get that progression of, of color um uh, you know it's the rinse and repeat um continue on and try and progress as much as you can while you're logged in i mean i guess that does help that there is that log in the store every day so it's um progressing a little bit each day and don't forget to um like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy these you'll get notifications every time i post a new one and i try to post these once a week to give you a recap Grab that log. One a day. Like an apple. A spare log a day keeps the um keeps the non-progression away, I guess. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment if you think of something better to go with that, because you do have to buy that log daily. Um always collecting sticks and stuff too. I noticed that my bag is getting really full. I wasn't even able to collect mail for a while there. I had to leave a bunch of mail. Um, I couldn't collect it because I just didn't have the room for these items they were giving me in furniture and there was also the items I was crafting for from recipes that I just could not pick up. I didn't have any room in my storage whatsoever. And I, I do like getting um, different items from the bears after completing quests uh you'll notice like i have a new hat um today and those quests i wouldn't pro i probably wouldn't be buying hats from the store um you should let me know in the comments if you do purchase those things in the store because i don't i noticed too that's where you could change your haircut um i believe that's how you can change your, the style of your hair but i think i will leave mine as is so I do have this other quest too. I have to collect um, a few of the um, epic shells. I believe it's epic shells that I'm looking for. So I will be always kind of swinging along the beach and looking for any of the new shells that might pop up. 
um, while I'm doing quests. Or if I was on going a uh, previous quest, I try and continue on that. Yeah. There we go, another one of these. You know, we gotta get, um, we gotta get these things. There's an expiration on it too, so if you don't finish this task, you either have to log in later or if you have to, you have to, um, you, you have to sit there and, and grind it out and get that quest done. Not necessarily going to give you a spirit log, though. You might get some old coins or an item instead. Now, oh, my, my fish were a lot smarter uh, today. They were, <laughs> they were a lot smarter. I was having a rough week last week. It was really bad. This week was much better. Like, this was the start of it. They started to be a lot nicer to me. I wasn't catching as many recipes um, out of it. I was getting actual fish, but a lot of repeat fish, like the... And the shadow mouth and, you know, the ugly low chair. Yeah, the duckbill was actually a new fish for me. Um, and a heads up, the the spoiler alert, it's for the beach bear, not the seagull bear, but this other beach bear coming up. Uh, if you haven't seen this, you can go ahead and skip a bit in the video. Otherwise, you can hang out with us and we'll watch this story together. Now, and if you're signed into the game center, you've got the uh, um, achievement there as well. So that's kind of nice. Kind of a nice thing too is that while you're progressing in this game, you're getting that game center achievements. If you are signed up for that, let me know in the comments if that's something that you do play alongside these um, apps on your phone. Please, while you're there, give me a like on this video and subscribe to my channel so you do get those notifications and I will check those comments. I read every comment that I get. Um, some of my videos don't have any, so you want to go back to some of my older videos, you can leave me comments there as well. It's very nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, they don't leave the beach. I had the same quest twice in a row as well kind of semi-spoiler and within a spoiler there um yeah it was interesting i had to find the same items twice in a row so. Um, I do collect all these coins, um, doing like digging and shopping down the hedges and things like that to collect old coins, but I do a lot of selling still, like I burn off um, fruits and veggies uh, and I sell those and I'm trying to accumulate as many old coins as I can because I was noticing that I'm really running out of room. I can't pick anything up, it's a real struggle, so I really need to invest in upgrading my tent again. Um, it's worth it, especially when you're seeing that the quests are asking you for a lot of um, a quantity of items. So it's no longer just like three or four of something and you might need 50 of them. Uh, and some items, if you notice they, how they stack, it's like they, the maximum stack is 10, 10, 10, you know, um, or it's 30. Or like I think the gems and those things like that can go um, quite a bit higher. 
sticks, never ending sticks. So yeah, I definitely, I needed to invest um, some coins into upgrading my inventory. Yeah, so like it's a 50, 50 and 100. It's so many and I, I made a terrible mistake here. This is, this is the mistake I was talking about. Um, like I went and went and crafted wood out of my sticks. Um, don't ask me why. So like coming from me, I'd say it's probably not the best idea, guys. Don't do any um like upgrade crafting until like you're you're overwhelmed with sticks or something. That was a bad mistake. Um, gems. I feel like the gems are worth it because I don't really get the precious gems that much. Um, like upgrading those. Um. In the semi-precious and, the, and then into the precious so let me know in the comments if you have a resource a guide or something that tells us about um the workshop aspect of this game because i don't have any sort of um, uh resource for that as to know what i should be upgrading at this at this point even even four weeks in guys i'm still learning i'm learning something new every day about this game I was trying to move some stuff around in my camp area again too. I was getting that that OCD itch, um, but I decided against it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we'll just spare you my mess of moving things around and putting them back, and it was just ridiculous. But anyways, um, yeah. Another great resource is for sticks, other than like the grass piles or the trees. Um, if you have a bunch in your campground, then try and grab those as soon as they show that the fruit is you know, bright colored, ready to go. Get lots of lots of soft wood and hardwood and, and branches from there. And of course the fruit. And like I really do feel like it is um, uh, best to burn down the fruit. And get that exchanged if you need if you need a coin or of course to feed your birds, which you know me, I don't I don't feed my birds. I try, and I will make them food and I'll order it, and then I forget to log in later to grab it from my mail, or it'll sit in there for a few days, and by the time I actually grab that food, they don't want that food anymore. They'll want something else. So that's an that's an interesting thing for me. So we're gonna go ahead and um, upgrade my tent here. This is where I do the upgrading. It gets pretty big, actually. I was I was surprised. I'm like, it's, it's yeah, it doesn't really does it. <laughs> so that was kind of fun, though. I mean, it it is uh, a long haul game. It's a marathon, not a sprint. If you even notice, some of the bear hearts, right? We're not even close to being having those hearts full yet. There's a lot to do still. But the definite change there, if you saw even visually, the box, our storage box, gets bigger and it's worth it. I was like, wow, I feel so light now. I have so much room in my bag. I feel like I can go and forage for whatever I need. A lot more room. It's definitely worth it to um, save up and invest in upgrading your tent as soon as possible. As soon as you start feeling that, hmm, I'm having to drop a lot of potatoes lately, then maybe you should um, invest in upgrading the tent. While upgrading doesn't help to complete quests, <laughs> it does help to carry those items that you need. So I do have a lot of quests going, and they even say like it might take multiple times um, helping someone or waiting several days. Um, an adult bird? I have no idea how to raise birds to be adult. If you know, can you let me know in the comments? Because I have no clue. I'm not sure if it's, I just have to wait until I can purchase one in the store. I'm really not sure. And there you can see the hearts. Like we only have two and a half hearts on Jeremy here. So we definitely have a lot more content to be excited about in this game. And I am really excited about that. So we're coming up here almost near the end of the week. Um, it's there's a lot of 
there's a lot of things like the the three logs um i notice is a constant thing with with flamey there's a lot of things i have to do like i have i have a constant quest going but he always says there's three, there's at least three logs out there and like i've said before in my other videos like man you're putting pressure on me on on something that i cannot i simply cannot do man um some of the quests i just i have to wait i have to be patient so i give him a log once a day i buy it he eats it we do this this is our thing once a day right rinse and repeat <laughs> Uh, and then the last day of the week. So this is exciting too, guys. Did you guys know that we're marking um, with this video? I guess if this video is posting on the 7th, that it'll be the next day, um, depending on when you downloaded the game. Um, but we're celebrating a month that this game has been out, guys. This is, this is the end of week four here. That's celebrating a month. Um, this is really exciting. Uh, so if you've got a daily routine down, that's great. That's where we should be at. We should be having a daily routine at this point. Um, I feel like we should still be constantly looking for sticks. Um, we're going to be constantly feeding Flamey. Um, and you can see, like, he needs so many more... He needs so many more logs um, before he's full. And that's going to get even worse. But my island is getting bigger. Um, we're going to need new tools. If you guys have progressed this far, you notice that too. We, um, we need the new shovel, right? Uh, we already have a new pickaxe. Uh, we're going to, I'm not sure if it's shown in this video or if I'm going to show it in my next one, but we need a um, new, um, a new knife to hack down new hedges. They look a little different. They look a little bit more jagged. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you see that next video when I bring it out, when I bring it out, guys. Um... I, I'm also, I'm getting better at the imps. I'm trying to, trying to build my relationship with them. Um, you know what? I haven't been able to build chocolate yet, or, uh, I guess, um, craft chocolate yet. Uh, but the, the ones that want potatoes, um, sweet potatoes and, um, walnuts, I got them. I can totally please these imps. It's not a problem. <laughs> So that's, that's fun too. That's a really cute aspect of the game and you're getting the imp essence or sometimes coins and things like that. I have not walked away empty handed from any of them. Not like that first time, the first quest when we unlocked the imps, that was interesting. So like, do you guys go and buy anything from the store to help these imps out or to progress your story? Like I was, I was mentioning, I don't usually buy the logs, but I'll, I've started to buy the sticks. Um, sometimes I'll buy, um, salt or something like that uh from the store it just really depends on what i need it's a little yeah if i see a peekaboo pile i gotta kick it and you should you should you should always kick the peekaboo piles <laughs> And it's kind of funny with all the routines that I have, or I, I don't have a lot, but with the, the few routines that you have in this game, the one I haven't mastered is that feeding birds. And their pop-ups do get in the way of things at times. Um, I feel sad for them, but it is what it is. We can't, we can't blame ourselves for not completing a task or a quest, especially those time ones. Don't be hard on yourself if you can't complete that the first time or if you have some prior engagements that you have to attend to besides the game. It's so casual still. I do love it. Four weeks in, I'm still enjoying that aspect of it, that it is casual. And the cute bears, you cannot get wrong with, you know, the cute bears, right? Same quest, the same quest as the day before, exactly the same. Had to get those, um, um the skip rocks really hoping to get some um rare or epic shells to go with my other quest from the barrier but i did not i did not so i'm still having to swing around on the beach and just make sure that i'm crossing that um the the beach line all the time to look for those those shells that i need it's the same thing with fish if i see that there's an interesting shaped fish or if there's a cluster of fish i'll often you know stop and, and do a little fishing in that area um collecting some ore i was mentioning that i buy salt sometimes i didn't know you could get salt from the rocks i had no idea like you can mine salt so 
if you're struggling for that, focus on, on catching these rocks and harvesting these rocks that aren't even colored in yet. If you have that pickaxe, you can do it. Um, or like me, you have to go make room in your bag and then come back into it. But definitely, um, you can find salt there. You don't have to buy it in the store. You're not stuck. <laughs> One thing I noticed on the beach here is that it, ha it hasn't changed that much. There's a few little changes to the beach here, but there's nothing else. I'm still waiting for that, you know, that big change, that big change to the beach. And I come here all the time. I come around here in the beginning of the day. And if I'm playing at nighttime, because you'll see sometimes on the screen, I'm in PM rather than AM playing. Um, yeah, sometimes I come here and check it out just to see if anything has changed. Because for the longest time, this area has interested me very much. Mm, I do a little peekaboo. Pe peekaboo with my peekaboo pile. Peek That's so lovely. And I do hope, you know, next video before the week is is done that I have that quest done. I don't want to have to be looking for these sticks anymore. For real, guys. But that's it for this um recap update for you guys i really appreciate you watching thank you so much uh next time i will show you some of my my peeking at this sort of protrusion coming out of the water here it looks like i've got some more island coming we've got some changes happening there was a giant fish over there too i was not sure if it would be a new one uh it ended up not being a new one but you never know. You gotta throw that line out far sometimes to catch these fish. Uh, let me know if you've been walking around the coast of your island as well too to see if there's any changes happening. So yeah, just the shadow mouth. Nothing special, but definitely the shadows in there. Very interesting. Uh, there was more on this side, but I couldn't cast my line into it. Um, it doesn't allow you, which leads me to believe it's definitely land. So we do have some land coming. Um, sort of off to the side it finally let me cast it but there's a tree there's definitely a tree peeking out there let me know what you think leave a comment for me I'll check that out I'll do some more fishing I'll do some foraging you guys probably have some smarter fish than me they decided to go back on the last day they decided to go back on being stubborn fish uh, the one on the left the little one I gave up on it and so I decided to go for the bigger one and he bit and then I missed it so he started biting again, and then he was just bored of me, I guess. He decided that um, because I let him down with not reeling him back, that he was just going to toy with me for a few more seconds and then just give up. He just completely gave up on the hook. So that was nice. But, you know, I, I went back and I got him because, yeah, we like fish. <laughs> so thanks again, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you next time, enjoy your time in the Cozy Grove. Do lots of foraging. And you guys can find me live on Twitch. It's Glinda underscore streams. I uh, do a lot of variety content, but maybe I might squeeze in some Cozy Grove for you. Until then, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.